At Lincoln Park's Park's Heart, a park in Ruston, Louisiana, where various activities can be carried out, emerges as an environment where people and nature converge in perfect harmony. To further increase its charm and amenities, the park seeks to add a disc golf course that utilizes the lake as an obstacle for players. In this context, a unique connection is forged between the park and innovation, as a new steel bridge is required. Hello, we are the Steel Bridge Team from the School of Engineering at the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México. A team immersed in the study and design of the requirements requested for this bridge. Therefore, we have created a 1 to 10 scale model that will show our creative and technical approach to address the challenges of this project. We are pleased to present our project bridge, a project that will integrate this goal with the beauties of the lake and ponds in the area, creating challenge for the players without altering the park's environment. Our bridge has been designed to meet the park's needs using steel profiles that balance weight and strength, ensuring durability and efficiency in its construction. We have minimized connections to simplify construction, which will reduce construction time and cost, resulting in only 15 members strategically designed to optimize load distribution. Our bridge, apart of being lightweight, is very sturdy. This guarantees its ability to withstand not only pedestrian and disc golf traffic, but also the load of maintenance vehicles and mountain bikes. The design of our bridge not only considers proper functioning and problem solving, but also facilitates the bridge construction by using rigid armatures in the lower arc. We have an asymmetrical configuration in space, but symmetrical with respect to both axes. Thus, the bridge will behave the same way in both directions. Simultaneously, the implementation of lateral thrust restricts lateral displacement and reduces the effects of torsions due to asymmetry. Now, the creation of this bridge was carried out in three stages design, manufacturing, and construction, which will now be described. For the selection of appropriate profiles, the aim was to maximize the stiffness in both the vertical and lateral direction of the bridge beams, which is directly related to the moment of inertia of the section under consideration. We aim to reduce costs by identifying key characteristics that would help us achieve this goal. To do so, we analyze the variables of time versus the number of builders and weight versus deflection in order to determine which aspects we should focus on to optimize our resources. This strategy guides us in selecting the most optimal design without neglecting aesthetics. To ensure the bridge's safety, two principal laboratory tests were conducted. The first test consisted of direct shear tests on bolts, where we took the bolts to failure making sure they could withstand a little more than calculated and confirming that they were A325 weight. The second trial was tensile testing on plates, where we got a variety of results. Some plates showed a grade A50 and others A36. This helped us to make change to some connection correctives and increasing the thickness of some of them. Since we fabricated to bridge ourselves, we wanted to make sure of the quality of our welding. Our assumption was that if the bolts did not fail, the bolts would, which would indicate the adequacy of the weld, even if there were some discontinuities. Theoretically, we expect the walls to withstand more stress than the base material. As a result, our, our high hypothesis proved correct and we can felt confidence in the weld. We were ready for the fabrication stage, but before that, we jointly prepared the detail and individual drawings making sure that they accurately reflected the structural design and specifications. So far on paper, months of training, research, materials, testing, design and teamwork into a bridge capable of solving a problem in an efficient, safe, economical and harmonious way with the beautiful landscape that accompanies it. During the manufacturing stage, a series of detailed processes were carried out to guarantee the quality and strength of the bridge. All the pieces go through a strict quality control to ensure that the measurements are as accurate as possible. Electrode welding and MIC technology were used to join the bridge components, ensuring precision and compliance with safety standards. Prior to welding, each piece was meticulously cut and prepared. Groups were sometimes added to improve weld penetration and joint strength. Molds were used during the welding of the stringers to achieve symmetrical bridge stringers that met the design specifications. With a lot of effort, dedication, perseverance and teamwork, our bridge is taking shape. Once we had the complete bridge at our disposal, we decided to carry out one of the most important tests, which is the loss test, 
Gathering the necessary materials, we distribute the load accurately for the competition necessities. And after a meticulous assembly and disassembly process, our bridge successfully passed the test. In the weeks before competition, we focus on practicing the construction. This allows us to refine the assembly process and aim for the fastest time possible. Teamwork has been the basis of the project's successful completion, demonstrating unwavering commitment to each other and constant collaboration, learning from the challenges and celebrating our progress. This bridge represents not only our technical capacities, but also the strength of our union and determination to face any challenge we will encounter as future professionals. After nearly a year of dedication, we stand at what we hope will be the triumph of a monumental project. Go!